Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Hawkeye Impact third video. I'm your host, the Paraflyer, and today we are starting the second chapter of the Born from a Dream event as part of the version 7.7 .7 here on Hawkeye Impact third. Um, so, if you missed the first video, we did do the a replica's replica story. All right. So you guys can go ahead and check that video out if you haven't seen that yet or if you haven't played it yet. Um, and today we're going to be doing Symphony of Truth and Lies. So first thing I want to show you guys, because we didn't really go over this in the first video, is we can actually look at the collection. So we have the Intelligence Collection here. You can see we have two different forms unlocked right now. So we have the two-handed form, which is what we've been using with the spin attack. There's also the Lance form. Uh, a mid-range lance that attacks single target enemies within range and a defense skill that raises the lance to enhance soldiers increasing attack and hp by 20 percent and restoring 10 percent of match hp and then this one we have not unlocked yet which is the archer form uh, we have to beat 27 which we will be doing in this video today and you can also look at the base intelligence and things that come with it as well um i think they're yeah they are all different in the different forms so we have that and we also have the construction collection here so we can see what paths we need to make we didn't really do this until probably more than halfway through the video we discovered this on the enemies and what they're weak to and whatnot so you can kind of see the paths that it takes uh you can see the rapid shot tower the splash tower and we have not unlocked this one we will uh, in the second building or the second chapter <clears throat> And then you can see the path that they take after that for upgrading. So if you need a freeze tower, you'll need the splash tower first um, from the defense tower. You can also see the melee camp. Get up to seven units on the agile camp. I don't think we have these ones unlocked yet. No, we will have them unlocked later. But just give you guys an example of how this game kind of works. Uh, we also have the mines. And... After re-watching my playthrough in the first chapter, it is a good idea to do the wells in the mines for upgrading, but you have to protect them. If you don't protect them, then you've wasted your crystals and you have to hopefully protect them again and you'll be down. So, um, Just some things that we've learned along the way. Um, and you're probably wondering, what about Grains of Memory? So Grains of Memory is kind of like the side mis missions. And I really don't know how I want to do this for the video because... We did have to do 1-1. One, one. It's kind of... I had to do it uh, to continue. Um, but I may do Grains of Memory as a separate video. These ones take longer as well. Like, you start from 1 and go to... I think we did 1 to 10. And we can't even do 1-1 one, one again. So, I'm going to probably save these for when we're done with the actual story of this event. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's our introduction. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more of this please like subscribe and turn notifications on i am trying to do a lot more honkai impact third uh videos uh we did just upload a couple elysian realms as well so lots of content hopefully coming out from this and 7 8 will be the first first version that i'll have been back from since the beginning so kind of like in the middle of 7 7 um since i came back and 7-8 will be the one where we're kind of like fully back into this. So enough chitter chatter, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started with Dreams of Origins. Chapter 2, which is called Symphony of Truths and Lies. So let's go ahead and open to one <clears throat> Wake up. Wake up now. Ugh. Ugh. The light from the ceiling stimulated your eyeballs and hastened your awakening. You remembered everything. The company, the intruders, the rain and bullets, the final smile, and good, you're finally awake. You sat up and saw Vita standing at the door and to the infirmary, smiling at you. I feel like I've been drifting between consciousness and slumber. I can hardly tell which side I'm on. Are you finally starting to believe me? Not really. Tell me, why did that girl, Rosalind, save me? On that point, I'm afraid I don't know any more than you do. But one thing is clear. There's an unusually tight bond between you and the Erd sisters. 
They may hold the key for you to return to the real world. How are they doing? Rosalind and Lily. Instead of answering your question, Vita turned her face toward the shadow and shook her head. So we can only find the remaining two sisters. May and Kiki. They... Shh! Wait a second. Someone's coming. Vita took a light step back and merged completely into the shadows. Meanwhile, the door at the infirmary suddenly opened. The visitor was none other than Blair. Are you awake? It's good that you're alright. I don't want to lose my most capable subordinate yet. I'm fine. So let me update you on the information you missed after you passed out. Firstly, they got the scold chip. What? You're right. While you're dealing with Rosalind and Lily, the other two of the Erd sisters found the chip storage room based in the internal information they had stolen, sneaked in, and stole the chip. In other words, we fell for their scheme. So we we lost? Not yet. Whatever they do with the school chip, sell it, replicate it, or destroy it. We still have time. Though, not much. I need you to go to the old district immediately, find their lair, and get back our chip. Let me guess. You put a tracker on the chip. Of course. These thieves aren't the only ones with a plan. Now that you're okay, you should get going right away. The security team is still at your disposal. Just be careful not to get accidentally hit by them this time. Blair left, and Vita returned gracefully to the light. What a coincidence. We're also on our way to find the two sisters. Let's go. Off to the old district. Alright, so Dreams of Origins 2-1. We start this stage at wave 1 and survive until wave 4 to win. Um, we have Soul Nurture upgrades. So it's been a couple days since I played. And I was still claiming uh, the Soul Nurtures. Right, that's what they're called. Sand of Reminiscence. I was claiming those as part of a daily uh, quest. So we were still getting those. So don't think that you missed anything. We just have some extra, so... We'll go ahead and upgrade our Blessing Core here, as well as the Wishing Well. So we unlock the Wishing Well, spend Construction Crystals to draw Base Intelligence from the level 3 base. Perfect. That's going to be pretty big. Um, we actually have a lot of upgrades here. We get 20% more total damage. Defense Tower is going to deal 20% more total damage. Our Soldiers are going to deal 20% more damage. Uh, returns three construction crystal when the base is upgraded to level two. Okay, nice. We like that. And we cannot upgrade any further. We only have 40, we need 60. And the one that we upgraded, I didn't say, was that our soldiers take less damage. Cool, so. We still have a ways to go on this tree. A long ways to go, but we are now soul level 13 and a recommended level of seven, so we should breeze right through this. Let's go ahead and get started on two, one. So, once again, oh, let me read this first. <clears throat> Unlocked Landsform. Landsform specializes in enhancing soldiers. Its defense skill and intelligence will buff your troops. Let's go get this. Bloodthirsty Determination can greatly enhance your soldier's ability to fight extended battles. Okay. Choose it as your intelligence. Cool, so we're going to actually learn about the Lancer one now. Um, once again, I am playing mouse and keyboard and controller. I'm gonna probably use mouse and keyboard for like the focus time, but my movement is with my analog stick. That's just easier to move around with the mouse, so just in case you were wondering. So we do have wave one here. So this is a pretty small map. Uh, we don't really have crystals. So it looks like we can just get started here on the first wave. Basic attacks and lance form are mid-range lance throws that let me deal sustained damage at a distance. The defense skill in this form can buff surrounding ally soldiers, bursting their attack and HP and restoring a small amount of HP to them. Command your troops to trample these enemies. Okay. <clears throat> so we do have like, it's like an auto attack, which is nice, and we can kind of play a range. So this one is definitely reliant on our soldiers, whereas the other one was more of us we're going in and attacking, so. Leader's Halo Charge. Increase the attack and move speed of the melee soldiers near the Watcher by 15%. Leader's Halo Aim. Increase the attack of ranged soldiers near the Watcher by 18%. 
Uh, let's do this one, because I think we have melee troops right now. Wasn't paying attention, but I assume these ones are melee, the blue. And we got two waves here, so we can upgrade this. Oh, was this a mine? Oh, we got a ranged camp, actually. Um, we can actually buy both, so we'll buy the base core for here. And... Uh, Ooh, that is actually not bad. Let's do Leader's Halo Rouse. So, melee soldiers will recover 1.5% of their max HP per second. So, yeah, I like that. Cool. And then we'll do this one, Ranged Camp. Oh. Um, let's do the Sniper Camp. Alright. And... I think that's all we can do, right? Yeah, we cannot upgrade anything at the moment. So let's go ahead and start wave number two. Oh. Conflict time! So we gotta get position ourselves in between our soldiers with this. There we go. I'm gonna go over here and kind of give them some health back. Nice. All right. Uh, Flame Forged Arms. When the Watcher uses her defense skill, grants forging fire to any of our soldiers, causing their next three attacks to deal more damage. And then we have Grandmaster. Defense skill only affects elite soldiers, increasing their HP and attack by 40%. Damn, I kind of like that one, but uh, we have Sniper, so we're going to go ahead and use the Flame Forged Arms. All right. Uh, we can upgrade, so we'll upgrade the Agile Camp. Now we get five of them. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we, we don't have any mines or anything, so we're not really getting a lot of crystals. But that's all we can do here for wave number three, so let's get started. Conflict time! Okay. I did forget that you could, like, regroup them, too. Wow, we made light work at them. Forging fire is nice. All right, round four. Outpost shield grants melee soldiers a special shield that blocks damage two times whenever they enter moment of hesitation. This shield, and I hate that it cuts off because I don't know. But we do have to take it. We cannot take chain shooting. So let's see. This shield disappears upon returning to focus time. Okay. And uh, we can upgrade one thing, and we'll upgrade our... Sniper camp. Let's do that one. Let me get some more sniper guys in there. And now it's time for the final wave of 2 1. Conflict time! This should be easy, and it is. And that's the end of 2 1. So we get our victory. We get our clears too, so we should be able to upgrade a couple times. And we've acquired a new building. The Commando Camp produces soldiers that excel at solo combat. And we get two of them. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and start Dreams of Origins 2-2. Two, two. We're only just approaching this place and your inner world is already reacting. May and Kiki must be in the old district. Let's go. Sure, but I'm not familiar with this place. Can you fill me in briefly? I thought you knew everything. And I do tend to make that impression, but honestly, I know very little. Especially about this fictional world you've created. Hmm. Suppose you're telling the truth. Then why would I be living in a fictional world? And what has happened to the real world? I don't know. Hmm. Hey, don't give me that look. I told you already. I know little. So I'm by no means trying to keep things from you on purpose. But if I find out that the real world is even worse than this world when I return to it? Well... On my way here, I've been thinking, what if I forgot about the real world on purpose and escaped here? Hmm. In this world, I have no past, nor can I see my future, but at least I understand what's happening now, and I have control over it. What if even in the present moment is out of my control in the real world? What if even the present moment is out of my control in the real world? It's certainly a possibility. The two of you walked beneath the blinking neon lights in silence, being surrounded by... Only the bleak night view. 
After a while, after a long while, Vita spoke up first, adopting an unusually straightforward tone. It's all up to you. Hmm? Whether to return to reality or stay here, the decision will be yours to make. I thought you were here to help me return to reality. No, no. Don't misunderstand. Like what I told you when we first met, I'm here to help you. Whatever choice you make in the end, whether to return to the unknown and frightening reality, or to stay in this unreal but bearable dream, I will be with you. Vito, what are you? A discordant voice suddenly interrupted you. Huh? Who are you? What are you whispering about? I've never seen you in the area. Have you lost your way from the new district? Hmm. Observe. Observing. You examined the two men closely, noting that the dramatically adorned bodies were tattooed with a strange pattern resembling an animal with beautiful wings. Hmm. I'm going to observe. Observing. You examined the two men closely, noting that the dramatically adorned bodies were tattooed with a strange pattern resembling an animal with beautiful wings. Hmm. Handle the situation with words. Oh, I'm a new recruit from the arthropods. I just did a patrol in the area, but didn't find anything anyone daring to stir up trouble in our territory. I'm going to head back. We're still meeting at the old place tonight? Ah, I see. So you're a newbie. Yeah, the meeting place is right over there. Wait! The young man brought this place closer to you, looking at you suspiciously. You said you're a new recruit. Then tell me, what does our boss look like? Um, well, of course I know that. You blinked at Vita, who replied with a smile, getting ready to do it the rough way. Give it to me! Heh! <laughs> Bald head, purple skin, vertical stripes in the chain? Nonsense! She's a liar! Pfft, why'd you have to go for Baldy? Uh, I was just trying my luck. I might just get it right. You dare mess with an arthropod, you scum! We're gonna take you to the boss! Vita! Yeah, let's do it. And so we start Dream of Origins 2-2. We're gonna start at wave number 3 and survive until wave number 6 to win. Uh, we can upgrade our soul nurture once again. We have a hundred here, so let's go ahead and have our soldiers take less damage since they're kind of doing the bulk of the work here. And we can go ahead and start 2-2. All right, so, 2-2. Two, two. Not moving, there we go, now we're moving. We start off with six crystals. We have two separate wave spawns. And we do have a commando camp, which is good for solos, right? <clears throat> Let's see. We are going to buy the mines, and these ones are in good spots because they're in the far back, away from the wave spawns. And this will probably be the next thing that we work on, actually. We have another mine right here. Alright, so we have two wave spots, and we have our commando camp, so can we switch? We cannot. Alright, so we are stuck in the lance form. It's fine. Let's go ahead and start conflict time for the third wave. Oh, I see. This is a solo fight, so... Do that. They should be able to handle... Oh. That, and we'll go ahead and take these guys out. Nice. Alright, so wave three is done. We got a lot of crystals on that one, too. Okay, so outpost shield grants melee soldiers a special shield that blocks damage two times whenever they enter moment habitation. We have to take that one. Oh, yes, this was the one that we couldn't read. This shield disappears upon focus time. Okay, perfect. So, um, sorry, my controller is acting up at the moment. We might have to go mouse and keyboard the whole way, which wouldn't be terrible in this mode. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade our base core. It should be our number one concern here. If it lets us. There we go. Alright, and we will do... We did do this one last time. I did like that one, but I think we're going to do Eagle Eye Strike. 
give them a little bit more space from the enemies. And we can also start upgrading these so that next round we can upgrade our base core one more time. Awesome. And then... Is there anything we can build that we haven't built yet? No. Okay, so... Um, we do have another big boss. We'll throw in a defense tower here. Actually, let's do our research here. So we have sniper tower, commando camp, and a sniper camp. So we want... I would assume it's this one. How do we look at the tower stuff again? Is it this one? Okay, yes. So we want a sniper camp. Which we don't own yet. So we're going to have to wait on that one. Okay. So there's no point in doing that. We'll just upgrade our commando camp here. Oh, we got some beefy soldiers here. And I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and enter conflict time on wave number four. Okay. Give them all powered up. Okay, they have to go in. All right, I see. Do this so that we can do this to power them up. I'm gonna go take these guys out while they're dealing with the boss, which they did. All right, so now we know these guys, they gotta be in in. Those are the, the melee guys, so. Watcher summons two melee soldiers and one ranged soldier whose levels correspond, which we have to take, to the base's level. The soldiers disappear upon returning to focus time. Okay, nice. So, we'll go ahead and upgrade our base core one more time. So, we're now at 27, which is base 3. Um, let's do speed. No, no, we want, we want to do melee soldiers. So, we're going to have to stick near our guys. And we can do the wishing well. Do I get this on top of the one that we just did? Because... Oh yeah, you do. Nice. Okay, so you get extra on top of that. Alright, so let's go ahead and start number five. Because I don't really think... We can actually upgrade this. Oh, the boss is right here, actually. We could produce melee soldiers, actually. Perfect. Solo combat ones for these guys. Okay, so um, let's take these guys and put them over here. Or take these guys and put them right here. Actually, let's move these guys over here. I'm trying to get this solo guy. There we go. Put him over here. So they'll instantly start attacking the boss. These guys, since they're ranged soldiers, we'll put them right here. And we should be able to get them all with their square. So time to start conflict time. This is wave five of six. Okay, so we need to put them a little bit closer. So. There's three big guys, actually. As long as I stand near them, they get their health back, so... Alright. Nice. All right, so we have to pick this one. This is Blitz Rush, increases the attack of melee soldiers by 14% every time they attack a target, stacking up to six times. Switching targets resets the stacks. So really good for beating up one individual. I see we got seven of these big guys. Okay, can we do Wishing Well again? We can. Um. Let's do distance salutes. That'll buff our range, I think it was. The 
defense tower is kind of not worth it, I think. We can upgrade. Oh, we have the commando camp down here. Let's upgrade this one. We don't have enough for this, but we can upgrade. We should have upgraded the well. It's the last round, so it's fine, but that's just something that we kind of missed. Was two wells here. Could have got some more crystals. And we should have the ranged one right here. We can upgrade this. This is the final wave. So. Oh, nice. We're short. That's where the well came in. But that's fine. We'll go ahead and move these guys right here. We're also going to move these guys over here. Actually, yeah, there's there's five of them. Let's, let's just do that. I think the two will be fine. We'll put these guys right here. Put these guys right here. And we should be ready for focus or for conflict time. I actually can just buy this. Just because it's the last wave, just to have something out there. And let's go ahead and start the final wave of 2-2. Two, two. Let's stand a little close to them, boosting them. Oh yeah, I forgot we get the, the extra soldiers as well, their ability. And we'll come take these guys out real quick. Wow, very, very easy with all the soldiers. I kind of like the ranged one. Uh, we do get our first clears as we defeat 2-2, two, two, and we should unlock the new building as well, which is perfect. So, but back to the story. After you reawakened from the inner world, the Athropard members had already collapsed on the ground, unconscious. Ugh. Did you take care of them? Thank goodness, you're here. Otherwise, I'd be completely screwed. Hey, Sally. That's not how you think it is. Have you forgotten this is a fictional world? Here, you may face pro provocations or attacks that force you to guard your inner world. But you can also eliminate threats by dispelling dangers from within. Was it me who did it? Let's say we pulled it off together. Oh yeah, we were under interrupted just now. What's the situation here? As you've seen, the old district is crawling with pests. While some of them are uh, um, impoverished folks, most are outlaws, especially gang members. Like the Athropods you mentioned? Yes, they're one of the most powerful gangs around. The old district is a breeding ground for danger, with all these gangs vying for control. They're fiercely insular and constantly at each other's throats. I've heard that before. Someone managed to unite these scattered maniacs back then. Hmm. You were struck by a sudden sharp headache, making you gasp in pain. What's the matter? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's probably just an after effect of the fight. The pain faded quickly. You stretched your neck, hoping to ease Vita's concerns. Anyway, dealing with gangs is a hassle. That's why I didn't deploy the android troops here. We'd better avoid their territory and find Mankiki ASAP. You pulled out the tracker Blair gave you before you left. What is it? Chip's signal is gone. Has the tracker been discovered? Perhaps they figured out how to remove it. That could be a real problem. Vita pondered for a moment, and then her eyebrows lifted. You said that those gangs often clash with each other, right? Yeah, what are you thinking? Do the Erd sisters have any particular rival gangs? As far as I know, they're pretty unique in the gang world. They normally stay out of trouble, keep to themselves, and don't really have any enemies. So, it wouldn't be that surprising if another gang betrayed them. You're saying? Hmm. It could work. If I strike a deal with a gang, I might be able to find out where the Urge Sisters are hiding. Time to turn the tables. The Hunter is now the prey. Don't get too carried away. This won't be a walk in the park. As if to confirm what you just said, a raucous commotion erupted nearby. Over there! Someone's taken down our men! Who's got the nerve to cause trouble in our territory? Follow me! I'll crush them to pieces! Uh-oh. 
Speak of the devil, here they come. Should we go say hello? Are you crazy? There are too many of them. Let's retreat first. Let's split up for now. Once we've lost these guys, we'll touch base again over the communicator. Got it. But if either of us gets caught, we gotta keep our mouths shut. You... Alright. You and Vita temporarily split up, then headed into the shadowy alleys of the old district. After a while... The alleys here look all the same. Darn it, am I lost? The distant neon lights were distracting. You shook your head and pushed deeper into the alley. As you proceeded, the silence around you grew deeper. Something in the midair gave you the sense of being watched. Your sharp instincts told you to stop. Observing. Look around carefully. It seemed that the lurking flicker figure had caught onto your awareness. Like a shadow, she approached silently. Seems we have met a new character, and we've also acquired a new building. It can be built in the subsequent stages. Stages. It is our sniper tower, so may come in handy later. We've also acquired new intelligence, chain shooting. When ranged soldiers near the watcher eliminate an enemy, the damage dealt by their next attack increases by two hundred percent. Which is perfect. Alright, on to number 2-3 of Dreams of Origins. A girl with the scythe pushed you down without hesitation. You felt her cold blade pressed against your throat. Any sudden move from here, from her, could spell death. Despite usually being so calm, even if you couldn't resist blurting out the classic line for situations like this. Don't be rash. Let's talk this out. Oh, you've grasped your situation so quickly, huh? Good. So, what do you want to talk about? How you messed with my territory, or how you've been picking my dear subordinates? Are you? The young girl deliberately tapped her toes, making the cold metal at your throat throb with a menacing rhythm. That's right. I'm the leader of the Atherpards, Siri. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not bald. The metal's rhythm grew even more tauntingly upbeat. I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding, is it? Then consider this a part of this misunderstanding. Huh? You're... Just when you'd given up hope, you're op you opened your eyes again. The girl lowered her scythe and peered down at you with a mischievous glint in her eyes as she just stumbled upon something fascinating. You took the opportunity to stand up. Go on. Speak. Huh? Aren't you here for some serious matters? You regained your composure. She was the leader of a gang, the perfect person to negotiate with. I want to strike a deal. You're here for the Erd sisters, right? How do you know? It was just a guess, and now you've confirmed it. You... So you want to tell me what... what you, so you want me to tell you their hideout, right? A bead of cold sweat rolled down your cheek as something dawned on you. This girl was a serious player in the old district. It was best to skip the lies. You still in there? I asked you a question. Yes, I'm looking for them. I have something I need. The scold chip, right? Darn it, she knew everything. You cursed inwardly. Judging from your reaction, I guessed right again, huh? So you're with the company. Since you've got me so figured out, I won't beat around the bush. Yes, I'm with the company, and I'm here to retrieve the chip the Erd sisters stole. If you cooperate, the company will offer a generous reward once they let they get their chip back. Oh, so you're trying to buy me off with money. Not just money. Medicine, supplies, electronics, even weapons and military equipment. Whatever you want, the company can provide. With our support, the Athropods could dominate the other gangs and become the true rulers of the old district. Siri listened to you over the top pitch with a silent smirk, then pursed out laughing. <laughs> you're really laying it on thick. I'm almost tempted to take you up on that offer. I'm not exaggerating. You should know how powerful the company is. Oh, I'm sure you mean it. But you know what they say. A leopard can't change its spots. Huh? Fine. You've gotten my attention. I'll accept the deal. Okay. You gave Siri a skeptical look, puzzled by her sudden change of heart. I'm so over these four sticking together all the time. If I can get rid of them and score a nice profit from the company, 
then why not? Take out your communicator. I'll give you their location. But hey, I can't promise you won't encounter some unexpected surprises along the way. All right, so we begin at 2 3 on wave 5, and we have to survive until wave 8 to win. Let's go ahead and look at our soul nurture because we do have enough to buy. Again, we'll do that the buildings take less damage. I feel like we're not taking a lot of damage here. So we'll save that one for last before we get the moving faster one. And we do have some big boys out here. We will need to buy some towers, so. All right, let's go ahead and start two, three. All right, so we do have 20 crystals to start off with. Um, and a couple soldiers. We don't have any big bosses, but we do have an air fleet here. So let's go ahead and upgrade our defense tower here. I think we need a rapid shot. Let's do some research. Yep, we need the rapid shot tower. Oh, we don't have enough. Ooh, okay. We do have the rapid camp, though. I think these guys also will do some damage. So that's good. Um, can we upgrade our base? No, we cannot. So maybe we'll save crystals for the next one. So we get the upgrade in our camp. Fence tower here and here. Go to upgrade our mines. Um, we still have four left. Though I don't think there's much we can do. We can buy the defense tower. I think that's what we'll do. Because we want to make these ranged. Or, um... Anti-air. Alright. Let's go ahead and start conflict time. I'm running really slow right now, actually. actually summon our commando box. We'll bring these guys over here. So I think they can attack. Oh, they can. Oh, there we go. They just can't when they're not over the wall. Alright. And there we go. We got 55 crystals. Oh my goodness. All right. Blitz Rush increases the attack of melee soldiers. Respect attack speed of the soldiers. So let's see. Siege Nightmares. Siege Nightmares will only attack buildings and do immense damage. Eliminate them as soon as possible to protect the building. So we need the Sniper Tower and the Destructive Tower. And that is over here, which they can actually destroy our mines. I think it said Sniper Tower, right? Um. Yes, yeah, Sniper. Okay. So we can't get the Disarming Tower yet. We can't do the Sniper Tower. Go ahead and upgrade our base too before we get too spicy. Let's do turbulent core for this one. Kind of relying on our ranged attacks here. The sniper tower here. Could probably put another one here. Hmm. 
Actually, this... We will upgrade this one. Alright, so we are good now. We have one enemy? No, we do not. So we have six of the small dudes over here. I'm not really worried about them because... We don't have... Like, we have our wells over here, but... We should be fine. I can come help if needed, so... We're gonna bring everybody over here for now to deal with this big threat. They could... It could definitely attack my mine. I don't know if it flies over. But hopefully this will be enough and we can go ahead and start conflict time. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. I thought there was just one. There's four. Okay, our tower is down, but that's fine. Just can't let it get to the well. Nice. Alright, we survived. Alright, we're now at 61 crystals. When we take fatal damage, we become invincible and disappear once the invincibility ends. Okay. Just, let's just not die and get to that point, yeah? Alright, so we do have, looks like two bosses. This one needs the vulnerability and the combo tower. I definitely want to build a wall here. You can also wish it well. We need more attack. So we'll do that one. I'm going to do this to get the... Combo tower again. As well as build the wall if it'll let me. Okay. And the next round, our goal is probably going to be to. Oh, we can get melee soldiers. Alright. I like this. So first wave, those are going to come from over here. Let's try and group everybody up over here. And I'll kind of keep an eye on this to see when these guys spawn. So that being said, conflict time begins now. Our defense tower actually helps from this range. I think they got it from here. I'm gonna actually power them up one more time. Yep, and these guys have just spawned in now. Okay. Go help these guys out real quick. Oh, we beat him. Nice. All right. On to round eight. Please select the Watcher Intelligence. We'll do Loyal Sacrifice, because that's all we can do here. Okay. And we want to upgrade our camps now. Um, upgrade the wall, too. So let's go ahead and upgrade our Commando Camp. Oh, we have this problem now. Okay. I think we want air defense. Is that that's what it's called, right?
Yep, we want air defense towers here, so... Oop. One there, and one... We don't have enough. Hmm. We got ten left, though. We can upgrade the Agile Camp. And we should be ready for conflict time. So everyone's going to start over here first. Let's group everybody up. We'll, we'll put them all right here at this wall. The range guys can stay where they are. The other ones will do their thing. And let's start conflict time. It's the final round. Okay. I can pretty much mash the square button here. For the power up, giving them the boosts. About seventy-five percent away from getting more soldiers as well. This is the last wave too, so we can go hard. I will deal with these guys. They can go fight over there. Okay. Is that it? Oh, wow. They actually destroyed those bosses. Nice. So that's a victory here on 2-3. Confirm that, and we have a new building. The Wide Area Camp produces soldiers that excel at dealing with groups of enemies. And we've acquired new intelligence. Dum, dum, dum. Dominance Restorative Resonance. The Watcher creates a formation around herself, causing soldiers within, its, within it to recover 5% max HP per second and take reduced damage for 8 seconds. I like that. All right, so we're about halfway done. Well, when we beat this one, we'll be halfway done. And no story here, we just jump right into it. So we're wave five again until wave eight. Let's go ahead and do our soul nurture to activate us taking less damage. And let's go ahead and start two, four. All right, so 27, we could do base camp immediately but then we couldn't do anything else so I think what we'll do is we're gonna upgrade the mines first okay we have our wells I don't want to jinx it but we haven't had much issue with um, like losing our mines I think it happened a couple times in the first chapter, but not much since. Actually, could change now because these spawns are very far apart. But let's see what we have here. We have the floating winged nightmare. We need sniper camp here. So do we have a sniper camp? We do. What these guys right here? These monsters. I want the Agile and the Rapid Camp, which I believe are these guys over here. Put them there. We could also build this as well. Let's do a wide area camp. We haven't done that one yet. We'll even upgrade them. And that should be it. I think that's all we could do here. So let's go ahead and start conflict time here. Wave five. Okay, so I guess they're just gonna all come over here anyway.
I can't let them take my mine out. Oh. It should be okay. All right, this one's gonna be spicy. Having to go from one side to the other is gonna be a little rough, so. We do have attack speed, which is good. The Blitz Rush. And uh, ooh, we have a big boy right here. Yeah, they're, they're making us work for this one. Nobody spawns over here, which is good. But the first thing we need to do is upgrade our base camp. There's half of our crystals right there. We're definitely gonna need speed for this. Mm. We'll build a wall. I see these walls go on either side, so. We don't have to worry about that side at the moment. I think a defense tower here is going to be helpful. And these, I think they take the sniper. Yeah, we want the sniper tower here. We're going to be one crystal short, so... I think we'll build another defense tower here, and then we'll build a wall on this side. And hope that he, this enemy goes this way. It's all we can do at the moment. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring our snipers, what am I, like right here? Okay, we'll put these guys right over here in the forefront. As well as these guys right here oh I see if I pass by them then they move okay okay I see I see yeah it's exactly what happens okay all right we should be all ready to go this is wave number six of complex time. The healing's going pretty nuts right now. Alright, so the, all the enemies have spawned on this side. Okay, and here we go. Power them all up. And we are good to go. Alright, so. We can definitely wishing well at least something here. We also get Leader's Halo. Hmm, we got two bosses down here. And then we got these aerial enemies. Yes, yeah, so we need the sniper camp and the air defense tower. I don't think the wall matters here. So we're not going to build that. We're going to do this for the sniper tower. Oh. Okay. We will build the wall here and upgrade this to another combo tower. And we will wish well. And we'll do distance salute. All right, we have 11 crystals too, so I think we'll power up our sniper camp on this side. And we'll have everybody group over here. Like I said, I don't think the wall will 
make a difference. I think they fly, so should be good. And let's go ahead and start conflict time. This is number seven. Far so good. Uh, the big guys haven't spawned yet. Oh, as I say that. Ooh, they're taking down our camps. All right, that was a little scary. Maybe we should build the wall to see if it does stop them. I don't think it does, but we can go ahead and pick our next watcher intelligence, which is loyal sacrifice. All right, so our snipers kind of got pooped on there. So go ahead and upgrade this one. We can still build a wall. So we will do this, and then we'll build a wall here, and that's all we can do. Again, this is the final round, the final wave. So as long as we survive, we're fine. Let's move everybody over here. We'll try and deal with this first round of the wave as quickly as possible and then we'll have to see what happens from there but let's go ahead and start conflict time it's the final wave of 2-4 these guys are hurting a lot though guys as quickly as we can and okay so the wall did actually stop them okay, they're all going over to fight the big guy now which is fine Clear. Yeah, nice. The bosses, like, didn't really do much. They died instantly. That's the, the small guys that were kind of hurting us a little bit. So, we did finish 2-4, though. We have acquired new intelligence. But before we do that, we have more story for you. <clears throat> the relentless attacks have been truly keeping you on edge. You only snapped back to reality when a pair of slender hands touched your shoulder. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine. What was that? See for yourself. You rubbed your eyes and looked up. Not far away, under a flickering street lamp, there seemed to be an abandoned warehouse. Between you and the entrance, a line of gang members lay sprawled on the floor, their eyes rolling back like fish left out of water for too long. I came as soon as I got your message, so you actually managed to reach the Athropod's leader? Yeah, she gave me the Urge Sisters' location. They're right over there in that warehouse. warehouse. I bet she didn't mention there'd be so many gang members lurking around, huh? Obviously, no. Good thing I've arrived on time. Do you think it's a trap? No, it shouldn't be. The Athropod leader, Siri, had me restrained. If she wanted me dead, she would have done it there and then. So, me and Kiki are probably in that building. Let's go check it out. Should we call in the android squad? No. Rosaline's final smiles flashed in your mind. If they're the key to me returning to your so-called reality, then I can't hand them over to the company. At least not until I figure out their connection to me. Well, it looks like you've made up your mind. You didn't say a word. 
and instead just nodded at Vita and headed decisively toward the warehouse. After knocking with no answer, he carefully pushed the old building's door, which wasn't locked. Inside, the building was brighter than you expected, but still a bit dim. At first glance, it felt strangely empty. However, he quickly spotted an unusual device in the center of the room. What the heck is that thing? It looks like a life support pod for medical treatment. Let's check it out. Wait, someone's behind it. Hmm? Just as Vita said this, you also noticed someone hiding behind the large device. Whoever's hiding there, come out now! After a brief pause, the hidden figure seemed to make up her mind and slowly stepped out from behind the device. Kiki! It's me. We didn't expect us to meet again like this. Even you? Do you also claim to know me? Yes. Not just me. May, Rosalind, and Lily. We all know about you. That's impossible. I'm with the company, not some outlaw gang like you. We should have never crossed paths. Yeah, you probably think that way now. Erm, um, if you don't mind, can I tell you a story? Be careful. She might be stalling. We still don't know where May is height. Yeah, I'll be careful. Huh? I'll try to keep it brief, is that okay? Kiki looked genuine with no signs of a hidden agenda. He gave her a nod, signaling her to continue. Thank you. Actually, there's nothing new around here. The company, with all its wealth and tech, drained the old district dry, leaving it as desolate wasteland. The locals, sick of the company's oppression, have gone from scattered resistance to tight-knit unity. Everyone knew that sticking together would be their only shot at challenging the company's grip. The leaders of the major gangs rallied the people of the old district and brought them all together. Yeah, I've heard those gangs used to have used to be very tight-knit. They even gave the company's higher-ups a real headache. That's true. Getting the leaders to set aside their grudges and actually work together was a real nightmare. It was practically impossible. Only one person, only one, ever managed to do it. You mean the one who unified the old district? The uncrowned king? The shepherd? Exactly. The shepherd was our leader, our elder sister, and our friend. Because of her, we finally managed to live with dignity and purpose, just like those in the new district. Because of her, we're going to a family of thousands, no longer afraid of the company's towering skyscrapers hanging over us like the Sword of Damasils. So, why did you descend into chaos and disorder? And where did the shepherd go? She was... imprisoned. Huh? I didn't know that we managed to capture her. No, she wasn't captured. During a cyber attack on the company, the Shepherd used a faulty brain interface to ensure her planned success, only to end up trapped in the company's security systems. In the end, her consciousness got trapped in the company's network, and she hasn't returned to her physical body. Trapped in the network? That's right. Our reports prove that the company not only trapped her consciousness, but also fed her false info, messing with her memories and perceptions. Now, she believes that she's a completely different person and has forgotten all about her past companions and missions. Why are you telling me all this? It's simple, because we finally found her. The Shepherd. With that, Kiki pulled out a palm-sized object engraved with the intricate patterns, glowing softly. The Skull Chip. Yes, we went through hell to get this chip because it's the back door to the trap program, and therefore, the only way to free the Shepherd. I'm giving it to you now. It's time for you to return to your body and your home. Shepherd. <gasps> Think. Your brain felt like it was slogging through mud. Kiki's eyes stayed locked on you well, with unwavering seriousness. She was undoubtedly talking to you. What did you just call me? You are the Shepherd. Our leader. The space and everything in it is just a manifestation of your consciousness in the network. We've come to rescue you. No. Vita. What? You felt another heavy blow strike your body. Struck your body, and a sensation that resembled tiny currents of electricity surging through your limbs. Vita? For a moment, you thought Kiki was talking to your companion next to you, but when she turned around, Vita seemingly disappeared into thin air like a puff of smoke, as if she never existed. Vita, where are you? Where did you go? Who. Who are you talking to? I thought something was odd earlier. You came in here alone. 
The headache struck again, but this time it was even more intense. You're struck with a terrifying realization. You've never seen Vita talk to anyone other than you. Nor had anyone ever shown any signs of knowing about her. Vita. You still don't understand, silly. Simply put, Vita raised her hands as if lifting some invisible giant, gigantic being. Everything you're seeing right now, the building of a pharmaceutical company, the clerks hurrying about, the security lights everywhere, and the steaming hot drinks on the coffee de office desk, all those are merely a part of a grand dream. It was all in my head. Vita, she was just an illusion. I... I... Who... Who am I? Perhaps this will jog your memory. Kiki quietly walked up to you, gently took your hand, and led you over to the treatment pod. Only then did you realize that the device before you resembled something more like a network access device. Look, this is you. You looked at it blankly. The transparent shell of the device rem resembled a mirror, albeit a little dusty. You wiped away the dust, and then you saw it. Ah! <gasps> Now you understand. I was telling the truth. Please tell me your name, Shepard. My name is Vita. <gasps> and there's the shock. And on top of all that story, we actually acquired new intelligence, the Garrison Veteran. Enhances elite soldiers that survive for some time after entering the moment of hesitation, increasing their attack and HP by 30%. These enhancements disappear upon returning to focus time. All right, so we're about to start Dreams of Origins 2-5. We just figured out the big old plot twist that just happened um, with us finding out that we are the Shepherd with our missing memories and all. I had to take a slight break because my mouth was getting really dry trying to read all these things and didn't want to come out too bad. So hopefully we're good to go. We got three more levels to go. That being said, let's continue our journey. Dreams of Origins 2-5. My name is Vita. Fantastic! Vita, you finally remember! Sorry, I can remember my name, but what you said earlier about the Shepherd, I still can't remember any of that. Huh? No way! So, <clears throat> anyway, please lie down in the access device and install the Skull Chip. Then you can reunite with us. Before you could agree or refuse, a violent explosion suddenly came from the warehouse door, and a bunch of androids burst in. This ends here. Thief Kiki, hand over the Skull Chip and surrender immediately. This is bad. As expected, May can't hold them off alone. Vita, hurry. Get inside the device. I'll handle this. Kiki shoved the Skull Chip into your hand, turned around, and swung a massive weapon to push back the approaching androids. Fixer, I don't know what she told you, but don't forget your role as a company employee. Now, help me arrest her. Trust Kiki. Are you insane? Ha! Huh. I knew Vita would remember. Security forces, capture the thief! No way! Your decision served as the final verdict. The passion in the girl's eyes, along with the flames on her blade, were reignited. Vita, hurry! Activate the device and the chip! I'll buy you some time! Come on, corporate hounds! I'll show you the full power of Kiki the Blazer! And so now we move on to 2-6. So that one was just a little little video so we're gonna go on to 2-6 now as Kiki the Hersher of Flame Scion and let's see what happens So I actually do not own this battle suit. It's one of the few that I don't have. So I'm probably not playing her optimally at all. I know she does lose health on her moves. Oh well. See you bye. 
And that's it. That's all of 2-6. So it looks like 2-7 will be the final chapter. And we'll actually do tower defense stuff. So while Kiki was buying you time, you jumped into the device and inserted the chip. The device's indicator lights came on, al came alive one by one, seemingly reflecting your increasing anxiety. Returning to reality? Let's hope reality is better than this dream. You crossed your hands over your chest and closed your eyes. In the darkness, you started to awaken. And here we go. The final tower defense, the final chapter of chapter number two. Sorry, the, the final section of chapter two, I should say. We're going to start on wave seven and survive until wave ten to win. We do have enough to get this Soul Nurture Raider speed. All of our soldiers will move 12% faster. And hopefully we can beat this first try. All right, so we have waves coming from the top and to our left side. I think first and foremost, let's see if we can find some mines. I don't see any so far. There we go. Okay, so we'll upgrade this. And it's off to the side too, which is nice. So if they do somehow penetrate through, it should be kind of safe. Uh, we do have 11 left, but I think we should save to grow our main base, which is over here, I think. Mm -hmm. So what's this? This is a nothing burger. All right. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start. This is wave number seven. Starting now. Conflict time has started. Okay. Get our power up back. Who our commander is going to die. Oh, they're trying to get through right here. You guys deal with that. I'm going to take these guys out. Power these guys up. And that should be the round. Nice. So they did not come through, which is good. We have 76 crystals. So we're going to select Loyal Sacrifice here. And power up our base. Put three. Let's go ahead and do Distant Salute again. And we'll do the Wishing Well as well. Um, I kind of want this... Yeah, let's do Hero's Wall. Keep our guys alive a little bit longer. And then we need to start upgrading... Is this a well? Oh, it's a mine, actually. Um, we do need to protect our assets here. So let's go ahead and build a defense tower. So we got some big boys here. We need a combo tower. Um, which is this one. Okay. Yeah, let's do the sniper tower and we could probably do this this one as well let's see if we can do both on this side oh we have a big boy over here actually might be in a little bit of trouble let's do us a, a rapid shot and a sniper i gonna make sure we have towers on these sides over here too um, needs the sniper tower. 
Can we get the disarming tower? I think that's this one. So... Let's do another sniper tower here. We're down to eight. I don't think we can do anything else, really. So we'll just build another tower here. And we're going to hope for the best. Let's go ahead and bring everybody over here. I think the next round, we're probably going to have to buy some more camps. Yeah, see, we gotta, oh, we can actually buy the range camp right now. So let's do that. Okay, bring everybody to the forefront of the first wave. And let's start conflict time. Thirty enemies on this side. That's a lot of boys. Alright, our tower just started to get hit, but... We're starting to get some reinforcements now. Oh, both our towers are down. That's our wall. Just gotta get these guys out of here as soon as possible. Oh no. As long as they don't take the mine out, I'm happy. I'm watching the guy on the top left too. Alright, he's dead. I feel we barely survived that one. Alright. <clears throat> I want range soldiers attack to be increased here. Let's do that. We need to upgrade our snipers as well. Um... This is going to be tough. Let's build another... I think having more towers is going to come in handy here. We will... That... Um... I think we'll upgrade this one actually. And then. Like I, said, I think having more defense towers in general will help us. Right? And this might actually go over the wall. Um. We'll see. This might be a mistake. This is the first time I've done, like, buying all the towers first. But maybe building this one will help because it's behind the wall. Let's do a splash tower for one of them at least. Oh, I'm actually dumb. <clears throat> Our sniper tower should be over here, because they have longer range, right? And then, like, this should be, like, a, a closer range one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have enough crystals there. We can at least do this. Let's do another splash tower here. And then, like, this one should definitely be a sniper tower. 
to this behind the wall. All right, so that's what we got going on. We're very right side heavy. We have no crystals to go, so let's bring everybody over here before we start conflict time. I hope I didn't just ruin the run because of that. I understand now that the sniper tower should be a little bit back, more back. I mean, just common sense, but I think we'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and start conflict time on wave nine. Thirty-eight enemies is crazy. Now we got enough power back. Get one of our commanders back to you, or our close range guys. So we got a super. We're about to beat this. All right, let's start bringing everybody over here. That's the one that just destroys buildings. Yeah, our tower's already dead. Come a little bit closer. We're super back, and that's the round. All right, cool. That actually worked really well, surprisingly. All right, so let's do, because we already did Ballistic Bulwark, we'll do Strange Gauntlet now. And that's around 10, so we have all of our power-ups. We're definitely gonna upgrade our towers here. So let's do a splash one here. We have the Sniper Tower here. I wanna put some more Sniper Towers on this side. This is an advanced wall. I think we're fine with uh, what we have here. Yeah, that that actually might be okay. We are behind the wall as well, so should be fine. I really want to upgrade this one because it's behind pretty much two walls here. And then we'll upgrade our camp. I like these guys here. We have just enough. If we keep the, these guys alive, I think we have a real shot here of clearing, so... I don't think there's anything we could buy for five crystals, so that looks like that's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah, because Wishing Well is 15. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring everybody over here. And this is the final wave of the chapter. Let's see if we can beat it. Let's get started on conflict time. Reactor. Trick the armored dream crusher into attacking the reactor to create opportunities for counterattacks. Here comes the boss. Armored Dream Crusher has appeared. The reactor on the ground has been activated. Reactors will generate a violent explosion when they are rammed or smashed by the Armored Dream Crusher. Bait the Armored Dream Crusher into attacking the reactor for a perfect counterattack. Okay. Okay, so it looks like he charges after me. So as long as I... He just took out all my stuff. So our commando camp is dead. Get him! No, don't die. I need you. I can't respawn you guys. There we go, 
Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we keep them all right here, right? Perfect. Now we go in. No, we lost the man. I think we're good. Yep. There it is! Wave 10 complete. Chapter 2 is complete. We'll see if we get a cutscene here. We do not. So that's the end of Chapter 2, which was Symphony of Truth and Lies. The final chapter is called Your World, and that one will be coming up next. After that is done, this has only got six sections in it. After that, we'll start doing Grains of Memory. So once we're done with all the, the chapters, we can go into the whole side missions. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little event here, Chapter 2. If you missed Chapter 1, go ahead and check that out. I got a video up of that already. And uh, if you want to see Chapter 3, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you liked the video, by the way. Turn notifications on so you can see the ending of this story as well of the great as well as grains of memory i have been your host the pair and i will see you guys in the next video